Um, I'm Andrew Parry, Head of Sustainable Investing at Hermes Investment Management. Hermes is known as a leader in responsible investing. You know, we were established in 1983 and it's really been in our DNA since, since then. You know, we very much believe that sustainable investing is really just about good investing. Um, I think one of the key differentiating characteristics of the organisation is that we probably have one of the world's largest stewardship businesses. So voting, engaging and doing public policy advocacy for a range of corporate uh, uh, pension funds and other institutions around the world, which really gives an extra meaning to sustainable investing, really yeah, advocating for a better system as well as investing for a better world. Impact investing is not a new term. It has uh, been around for well over a decade, and it's probably one of the more innovative areas of the market. How we see it is investing with intentions to have a deliberate a set of positive outcomes. So it's about thinking about the opportunities of investing in innovative companies with products and services that are designed to address underserved or unmet needs in, in, in the world. So having a, a real impact on the world around us environmentally and socially. Yeah, the UN Sustainable Development Goals for 2030 are a, a, an overarching set of goals designed to address some of the most pressing needs in global society, ultimately about eliminating global, global poverty and inequality in, in the system. The way that we see them is these represent some really exciting growth opportunities. There's $93 trillion of estimated capital that would be needed to spend spent over 15 years to address them. So for those companies you know, with products and services designed deliberately to address these underserved needs, we see these as exciting future growth opportunities. We call them the beta for future growth. Now, this is a real core part of our business. We have about half a trillion dollars under stewardship for a broad range of global uh, institutions around the world. You know, we're very much there see, uh, as active owners, active in the sense that we want to exercise our responsibilities as a good stewards of clients' money. So we don't want to be absentee landlords. So it's very much about trying to engage around environmental, social and governance outcomes, encouraging companies to, to be better in the way that they manage and govern themselves, but also encouraging them to take a more sustainable and long-term view to the allocation of capital. You know, we ultimately see this as about building long-term shareholder value and creating sustainable, resilient businesses that recognize their broader impact on society and the environment it's not just good for the planet and people, it's actually good business. We've always felt that sustainable investing should be mainstream. I really see it as finance 101. So if you're looking at a company and you're not looking at its environmental, social behaviors, you're not getting the complete picture. If you're ignoring the way it's managed, the way it's governed, you're ignoring important information. So I almost see it as like this is, this is just what good investing is about. Undoubtedly, it's gathering momentum not just here in Europe, where it's much more established, but in America, where it, an increasing number of institutions and private wealth managers are really interested in the opportunity that sustainable investing represents, and in Asia too. So this is a global phenomenon. Everybody is now recognizing that we all want sustainable investment, sustainable cash flows, franchises, but also sustainable social and environmental licenses to operate.